Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 194 of Trials and Trebuchets. I'm your dungeon master, Luke. Joining me are my players. Their names are as follows. Hello, my name is Ben, and I'm playing the newly initiated level 10 gnome wizard, Windsor Wallaby. Not his cutty little companion, Mr. Wiggles, because they were not in, they were not, you know, into the thing. It's the whole thing. Wiggles is not allowed to know about this. No, <laughs> not allowed. It's a secret, but I'm Carla, and I play the level 10 tiefling rogue rock. <laughs> Roguelock. Roblox. Integrity I Idol Barrier. That's it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah and I play Mira. I always expect a song. I'm sorry. Whenever there's not a song, I like I'm just sitting waiting for yep. there to be a song. Hi, I'm Sarah and I play Mira Marshawn, the level 10 half elf bard. I've tried a suggestion. I've silenced our crimes. I've tried a disguise self on two separate times. We've tried infiltrating the society. Let's please beat Bailey. <laughs> Yay. Bye, Bailey. Hi, I'm Sam, and I played the level 10 super secret society aficionado <laughs> sorceress, Sarah Neff Sinderman. And welcome. And last time <laughs> on Trials and Trebuchets, the students attended an initiation into the Hedrick Society for excellence. Uh, Serenupth and Winsler by invitation, Integrity and Mira by infiltration. Yeah. With vows made and nosy tieflings hidden away in stairwells and left to rot, it's now time for our students to mingle. And that's exactly where we will start. A golem, golden, and with a little tiny, shitty, little dinkly, uh, golden emerald in your <laughs> or gem in your neck. Sorry, I used many expletives to fill the gaps. With a golden cloak and a golden gem in your brass neck, Mira Marchand, or uh, the golem. Golden Golem, uh, and Integrity uh, with six extra inches and some sharpened teeth and a forked tongue and a gold, silver, and black robe, you both walk on into our venue, the chapel, a large uh, room of worship with uh, patchwork tiles on the ground of beautiful master work. Uh, and big old cloistered little altars to the different gods. No one really is paying much attention to those right now. That is a kind of like secondary attribute of the beautiful venue here for the Hedrick Society of Excellence. Uh, but Winsler Wallaby and Sarah Nuff Cinderman, you are by all means allowed to be here. You have your hoods down. <laughs> you are among your peers uh, and generally can take care of anything. Uh, as the two of you kind of are greeted by everyone, you notice that there is a, the the, uh, the person who wandered over by the doors has come back, their hood his hood down now, uh, and is accompanied by a golden golem. Uh, nothing of real concern. Uh, a bunch of people welcome you uh, quickly with handshakes before uh, making their way over to uh, private groups and such. And you notice in the course of probably two or three minutes as you're being handshaken into the society uh, that big plates of food, silver trays, begin to materialize from thin air and begin to uh, do the rounds, as it were. Uh, upon them contains lovely little finger foods, big old bottle or uh, uh, different uh, receptacles, crystal goblets of both water or wine of your choice, really. And so with that being said, you are able to mingle. I think before we get to you, Saren Epp and Winsler, uh, someone will address you, Integrity Idleberry, in disguise. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -oh. You see it is another tiefling. Uh, he seems to be like an older dude. Uh, and he will, as you walk back calmly, I presume, he will kind of like almost bark at you with his a very gruff voice. And he'll go, Zellocles, what was the deal in the entryway? So um, Zellocles is clapping pretending to be part <laughs> of the congratulatory uh, celebrations yes. for the new initiate. And I'm going to be like, oh, it's just a golem. Pay no mind. Pay no mind. I'm going to like I'm going kind to of bow my up. head in like an acknowledging sense of hello. I am here. I am a golem. <laughs> <laughs> um, can both of you make performance checks? Oh, yes. Um, oh, I get a plus two now to this performance check because of my um, liar. Liar. Yeah. So that's a plus 15 now to performance. Oh. Plus 15? Well, I had plus 13 yes. before. 
Uh, so that's an 11 plus 15, I... so 26. <laughs> Jeez. I rolled 18. Holy fuck. Did you even need to roll for that? God. 16 plus 2. Y'all are absurd. <laughs> Skill monkeys. Um, so this uh, kind of gruff person nods his head and he will then kind of walk over to you. He grabs a goblet of wine from one of these passing trays very nonchalantly and he will walk over and approach you. He kind of like appraises the golem for two seconds and he goes, wonderful construction. I I, I prefer the old ones, but I guess this these will have to suffice in their absence. I wanted to pick your brain specifically, Zelocles. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I know the last time that we'd spoken, it was a bit... We we ended on not so great terms, but I was wondering if you would have given any reconsideration to my proposal. Uh-oh. Your proposal was uh, quite... How do I phrase it? It was... It was smart. It was... It was... Uh, so you so, so you've come you, so you've come around on it then. Um also did you get sick over the winter break? You sound a, a bit under the weather. <laughs> um <laughs> sorry uh I my voice is <coughs> a little bit sick. Um with <laughs> sick. So uh you He'll put that, his uh, uh hand out onto the, like Almost like to reach out to grab your shoulder. Integrity. You know if this I'm man- going to move away. Okay, you back up. Sorry, quickly. it's contagious. Don't <laughs> if it's contag- Oh, Okay, if it's contagious, perhaps so you shouldn't sorry. be here this evening then. Uh, I'm sure we could meet up some other time. Uh, I could come back to campus or just send a letter to, to, to flesh out the details of it though. Uh, that's very smart, but you see <laughs> like this, this, um, the thing that I caught, uh, it sort of, um, makes- my memory a bit murky. Oh, yes, yes. Um, do you mind reminding me of that proposal? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. They, this tiefling will kind of take a firm step back. Uh, Mira, the golem, where uh-huh. are you just here loitering, listening to the conversation? Oh, yeah, I'm standing right next to Integrity as if, like, I have something to help her with. <laughs> okay, wonderful. He will kind of say, okay, um, uh, of course, I understand how illness can uh, m- mar the mind. The last we had spoken, you were graduating. Um, this was b- before your exams. I know, I, I understand you've graduated since uh, and were not asked to return as a fifth year. I had offered you a position at... Uh, Nessatar, the burnt halls of Nessatar working under me. I understand it's outside of the typical godly domain that you f- work within, but I was hoping that you would uh, consider it. You have an excellent aptitude for the work. Oh, yes, I remember uh, a little bit clearer now. I'm still thinking about it. Um, I you will just probably... had said it was a smart and observant kind of conversation though so obviously you must kind of believe that I, my my analysis has some merit you should come and work under me at the burnt halls it's it's it's, it's mostly the the decision is mostly there but as i told you my sickness makes uh my decision making quite murky as well so i don't think that i can decide right at this moment how are you can able I get to back stop for one moment oh If I know some things about divine magic, I would assume someone of your skill level wasn't affected by such worldly things as diseases anymore. Um, Luke, this is completely on me for not remembering, so apologies for that, but did the Krolums speak at all? Uh, the Krolum, you've never seen one speak, no, but you don't know if they can. You've just never seen one tried to be spoken to. You know what? This is risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> no. Integrity's in a pinch. Yes. I'm going to, like, kind of tug at uh, my my good friend's uh, robe, and I'm going to say, pardon me, I require a brief tune-up. Please continue this conversation elsewhere in a moment. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I have to help this new golem. Make a persuasion check with advantage. <laughs> Persuasion 21. This tiefling will nod and uh, take a sip of the wine and say, There's other times to have the conversation. And then they'll turn and look, he'll turn and look at you, Mira, at the golem, and will say, I wasn't aware that the new golem spoke. Uh uh-uh. uh. 
this is my first day with conversational abilities. Mm. Headmaster Crow granted me special permissions. Of course. That makes... I guess that makes sense, yes. Uh, <laughs> nonetheless, <laughs> Zelocles, we'll continue this conversation another time when you're feeling better. When you're feeling better. And he looks at you with very scrutinous eyes when he says when you're feeling better. And he'll walk away. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, thank you so much about... Thank you so much for that. Mary. Oh, no worries. Oh. oh, that was so stressful. Okay, um, I guess the next step is we should let our friends know that it's us and then let's mingle. Oh, yeah. So, Serenepth and Winsler, uh, after your round of very quick handshakes uh, and welcomes, two people particularly will walk on over to you uh le- one person will lead he has gray hair he's pretty tall he has nice glasses he's a gorgeous man uh ainsley woodley and he'll walk over and <laughs> slap you very hard on the back serenip and he'll go i mean welcome to the society now you know now that you're in <laughs> this is the trick now that you're in you don't have to get good, 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 good grades anymore. You can absolutely tank those things, and they will oh my not. God. They will not kick you out. You've got the connections for life. So now you can just, you know, sit back, relax, take a breeze off studying. I mean, like I obviously still care a ton about my work, but like you don't have to try at all anymore. Can we insight I mean, check this? Yeah, to. you can absolutely insight check him. Dang. I love Ainsley actually. Like, <laughs> Serena has like a flute. Has like one of the, like the the flutes of like wine in her hand and she kind of like yes i mean i i still want to you know keep good grades for you know my own peace of mind and that being uh, this being a school Winsler? <laughs> Winsler, what did you get on insight 10 i don't know <laughs> <laughs> he could be telling the truth yeah it's up in the air honestly this guy <laughs> talks a lot of shit might be a lie might be truth hard to tell like i can't uh, tell what he's trying so like standing uh nearby as well just drinking some wine and absently kind of like watching people she seems to be in uh good spirits uh i'm gonna walk over absolutely. and i'm gonna say i'm gonna like i'm just gonna like like with what i'm gonna be like in case you didn't hear it earlier thank you for all your help <laughs> uh, oh you know absolutely no worries um i'm so sorry for running out on uh you talking to me earlier i was in a a weird a weird state of mind um but uh, i just want you to know i dropped off those potions at mira's dorm and also um just welcome to the society thank you uh i and she'll look around and hold her tongue for a second and then look back and forth and she'll say i know the others have an an idea of it but it's best to keep it on the down low of course and she'll raise her uh, a flute of wine as well and take a large uh, gulp of it. <sighs> what do, who, where do the two of you want to mingle with? Do you want to take a look-see around, see mm. who your options are? Or is are you just going to stick with like Ainsley and Delness and be like, never leave me. You're the only people I know here. <laughs> We're the two I quiet mean, kids at a party who need to stick with their older Ainsley friends. Ainsley exists. I don't particularly <laughs> care for, him, for them that much. So I'm probably just going to scooch away from them as soon okay. as Serenath leaves the like Absolutely. general proximity. D- did you want to take a look-see around the room, Winsler? Sure. I can describe we'll a couple around. of people of note if you yeah, would like. Yeah, let's do that. Of course. Uh, you see, let's start with people you'll recognize. You see, I think, two very distinct students that you recognize. Mm-hmm. Uh, both of them you recognize from the duels. You had dueled against them. Uh, you recognize there is a... Fifth year, this guy was a guy on Joan's team when you would do uh-huh. saw him last. His name is Tyrion Mason Hall. He was the wizard on uh, their team, if I you recall. recall. The other one is now an eighth year that you notice, a kind of like a uh, very stout dwarven lady. Uh, you had dueled her in the final duel of Autumn's End. This is uh, Christina uh, Rustbeard, you recognize her as. <gasps> oh, she, was the one, she was the one with like the scroll that unwound and like summoned arcane hand and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, she, she turned down, uh, yeah. <laughs> Vincent, yeah. Hey. Sad, Vincent sad story. Um, beyond those people, there's a couple other professors. You see um, there is a Aarakocra and a Drow who seem to be having <gasps> a very... Uh, very inspired chat with one another. Uh, not like a I want to go see what they're talking about. <laughs> Absolutely. They seem like they're in, in some sort of debate, and I yes. want to be a part uh, of that. Winsler, the, this Eric Hawker, they are like very, they have a very plain coloration uh, of like 
the base of like a white, creamyish white feather with dark brown uh, on like high points and like making speckles and dots along their and uh, the edges of their wings. And you can see that they are dressed in very beautiful uh, red and purple uh, clothes underneath their society robe. The other thing to note, I don't know how many Eric Crocker you've met in your life. This Never. one, uh, you've made, you might have seen a couple of Eric Crocker ever who are all like pretty average heighted. This one uh, seems to be absurdly tall. He is uh, almost nine feet tall. He is a massive, massive man. Um, I am but a stump to him. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) And uh, speaking to him uh, is a very... Hmm. It's a. They are a drow. Uh, mm-hmm. Bright, bright white hair. Very long. Pulled up into like a very long ponytail. Uh, they are wearing clothes with the deepest. Uh, like the all, all the buttons on their shirt. None of them are done up. Like completely down to the belt. Just like completely exposed chest. Um, oh my god. And <laughs> the two of them seem to be discussing as you walk up. You'll hear the drow say, but. But you must concede that the, the primordials of the Underdark are, of course, more important than primordials you, you deal with in Iron Peak. Obviously, I don't mean to demean your research and what you're doing over there. <laughs> I would never try to suggest that you are uh, worse than me at these kind of things, of course. Oh. But what my point is, is that the entire <laughs> world does not lie upon the primordials you study, whereas the primordials I study in Rango uh, are the foundation of our entire world. You realize this? And the Aarakocra, like, glares down at this drow and will say, <laughs> Caldir, you are the largest fool in this room if you believe you can get away with talking about the primordials of Ironbeak in this way. What you're saying is that those who sit below in the Underdark, who stew in just darkness where no one can see them, are somehow more interesting, more evocative for writing and research than those who carve the mountains from stone here on the surface. Do you truly believe that to be true? Think for a moment before you speak to me again if you want to push this subject. Winsler, you sc- Troll up upon this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sort of like mouth agape, like uh. as the as as this Eric Cocker finishes, he'll turn and look down to you and say, "I'm so sorry you had to hear this drivel from this idiot." <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Uh, I heard of you in the debates we had about which students to take on for this year. Um, my name is Hall of House Ardeo. I'm from Ironbeak. I'm a court wizard there. And that, that seems like a, pre- that, like a pretty big uh, stand-in, I'm it sure. Is. I research pr- the primordials of stone and air, which carve the mountains. And uh, and, and, and you, uh, I, I heard your name was uh, what, Caldir, is that it? Yes, it's Caldir. Caldir Kemdant. Uh, I, myself... I'm a court wizard below in the Underdark. You might have heard of such a beautiful place. I research primordials of also Earth and all about fire. Those who underlie the entire world are responsible for all the land we live on. This, I apologize. This is too much. I need, Hall, this has been a terrible conversation. I will see you next time we have a meeting. And they will turn on their heel and uh, walk away angrily from this conversation, Winsor Wallaby. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what just happened. It was a simple. I feel I feel like there was a whirlwind that just came in and blew right past me. <laughs> you then... would do well in Ironbeak. Great, great turn of phrase. Uh, <laughs> I I am just like shrinking Absolutely. even more. This, this man is massive compared to you. He goes. It was a simple debate about what primordial elemental beings that exist in our world are more foundational to our existence. Those we interact with on the daily basis are those who only move once in a millennia. However, nothing to concern yourself with. Um, please, I'm sure you came over here for some grand purpose or reason. How can I be of assistance to you? I, I'm, uh, well, obviously I'm new. I'm one of the newer ones. I, I wanted to see what y- y'all were talking about, and I guess it seems like it was, it was kind of heated. But so I, I wanted to see if there was anything that I might be able to do to sort of, like, you know, help 
me oh. remedy the situation a little bit? Oh, you mean like intersocially remedy the situation, not remedy the situation as in put uh, them in their place, right? Like you've wanted to make a bridge between us. <laughs> let me yeah. let me cut to the chase here, young man. I hate that elf with the <laughs> utmost <laughs> fire that I can muster. We were oh, classmates wow. here uh, when we went to Wildcliff ourselves. Uh, both nominated to this wonderful society at the same time. I have never seen eye to eye with them in my entire life. Uh, we were on the same team, uh, as you might uh, understand. We uh, studied primordials. Uh, our, our area of focus in the year that we were at school was elementals and such things at large. Uh, and so uh, it was just the research focus. Uh, I'm sure there's people that uh, you surround yourselves with that you hate to their very core, or I can guarantee you by the end of your time here at Wildcliff, you will definitely despise the people around you. Well, maybe maybe it's more than just the, a typical hatred that you have for one another. Have you ever thought about, like, maybe maybe the one that you hate so much is, in, like, theoretically, like, helping to lift you to higher higher places? Like, if they're like a rival, you know? Like, if you have a good rival, they exist to sort of push you in a direction to help better yourself. Make a, persu so, make a persuasion check, Winsler. This is going to go terribly. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's good. I am trying to make them be friends, and it will not happen, I'm sure. They can't be friends and rival at the same time, Ben. Well. Well. Maybe. Maybe. Um, Non-natural 20? Shit! How's that going to do it for you? A uh, hall of House Ardeo scratches at his uh, underbeak. And we'll say, I see the value in what you're saying. I won't lie to you and say that I enjoy what you're saying. <laughs> but well, I think do it... think there is a certain grinding stone kind of relationship where I am made sharper and brighter through Calder's sloppiness and ignorance on the subject matter. <laughs> well, great point. Well, I would put it, I would also add in another point. With with what you were saying there, like how often do you speak with other uh, wizards and scholars that sort of you know share your focus of study? Only really once in a blue moon. That was my entire purpose behind uh, becoming courtly wizard at for House Ardeo was to put that the house above all else. So I don't right. truly interact with others in my field as much as I. Should, I, again, I see your point in what you're saying. The point you're making is quite, uh, elegant. Perhaps I'll consider. And it's almost, and it's almost like this, exi the existence of this rival is like, you, sure, you might talk with scholars of yourself, like, amongst yourselves in your study and share your ideas, but you don't really get much going after that. You sort of just mm. talk about exactly, like, what you know and theory, theorize well. and such. But if you come into contact with information that you're not, that you come at odds with, mm. it only it only helps to further your understanding of what you know by under by grasping the information of what the other person is saying. You're a so regular a, peacemaker, aren't you? This is kind of my first time doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you seem quite practiced at it. I'll give you some credit for your points. Um, I mean, you you don't have to well, like. Wow, well, Winsler. <laughs> I'm having this tries to philosophical yes. conversation. Um, Gollum, Mira, Mira, and uh, Tiefling Integrity, Integrity. <laughs> the two of you, I believe, wanted to make no your presence known to those who uh, you you are on the same team with. If I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Please tell me what you would like to do then. Um, I think I might uh, like just stroll up to Serenep and be like, "Hello." And then I'm going to, um, <laughs> and then I'm going to like point at her and yes. just like do a little finger gun and go, "Hey, it's me, Mira, and that's actually integrity over there. What's this going on? How are this you? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. No, There's I just shouted out loud. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck like, are these like, fucking? Like, I'm just standing with. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm just standing with Ainsley and Delmas and like. Okay. So, because like we can hear the fighting, it's and like, then is I, this always happening? Yeah, and the and, second yeah. after Delnus is like, "Hey, keep it discreet." You just hear, "Hey, it's me, Mira. What's up? In, we broke yes, in." It echoes into your head, yeah. Serenep. I I turn and I look at Gollum, Gollum. Mira. Yeah, and I stare for a couple, and I look around, and I look back, <laughs> and then I 
bring up my hand Delness, just slightly and like, says, wave. Is everything okay? Are you okay? I'm like, just give me one second, and I just slightly wave at the golem. Okay. I just nod, I, like. <laughs> <laughs> I've acknowledged your you. wave sagely. Integrity, I do you... wink, but because my head is like just crystal or whatever, <laughs> nobody can tell. You see a slight glimmer on the gem. <laughs> uh, integrity, what were you going to be doing? Um, I'm going to go up to Winsler. Okay. Oh God. And I'm going to be like, "Congratulations, young man. Ah. Have you ever heard of the finicky of the Phantom of the?" Gerbits? The, the the finicky of the phantom of the gerbits? Are, are you th- ill? <laughs> what what do you think of the subject, young man? And uh, Winsler, the Arakakra, Hal l- mm-hmm. turns down to you and he goes, I'll leave this one to you, peacemaker. And he'll walk <laughs> off. Alright, have a good evening. Yes. Uh integrity. It seems that you've thoroughly uh dispatched the Arakakra scholar. Uh, leaving only Winsler to uncover your riddles. I, I feel like you just dropped an anvil on my head. What What was the subject? I, I First I've heard of it. It's the gerbits of the <laughs> finicky of the junk. Um, Come on over. What's a gerbit? <laughs> <Young man. laughs> Winsler, this tiefling has approached you. They have sharp pointy teeth, a forked tongue, these very piercing eyes, and very, like, intimidating-looking horns. And they are speaking uh, buffoonery at you, riddles and teas- teasers. You have no clue what is happening here. Uh, it might be a code. Ra- oh, I'm gonna wink. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll head on over to help you with the gerbits of the finicky phantom junk. <laughs> Yes, yes. Great job, great job. What? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Integrity. When Winsor it... apparently is going to follow you, what would, where would you like to bring him? Um, I would like to meet a couple of my associates, <laughs> and I'm gonna go up to Mira and okay, uh, or um the, the uh, golem. I'm gonna go up to Serenap. Then I'm okay, I'm just gonna throw me in a <laughs> He's garbage gonna kill shoot. you. This is a serial killer, Winsor. This is a code. <laughs> Um, okay, <laughs> Integrity, you escort Winsler over to the Golden Golem, standing next to Siren of the Cinderman. Um, uh, Delness is probably, like, taking a couple steps away and is chatting with what looks oh. like an independent researcher of a sort. Oh, dang. Um, I was gonna tell her. Ah, well, she's uh, stepped away. <laughs> okay, so good. You can make that decision after. Nonetheless, Integrity walks up, bringing Winsler right along with her. Uh, you see a... Not integrity, and there's also a golem here. What did the four of you want to do? Why? Why is there These, a golem here? Why? The, and, I, and I gesture. Why? At, yeah. Uh, what do you mean, why? These are your people, young man. Well, we couldn't exactly come as ourselves. <laughs> it, it, these are your people, and uh, you and hear Mira whisper from the golem form. We couldn't come in as ourselves. Wait a minute. But, no, but like, why? How do you even know about this, Bailey? Billy knows about this. Billy's... Yeah. Wait, Billy's not here, though. Well, that's why it's so weird that he has it, like, whatever it was. Like, you said he had it in his notes, right, Integra? So, like, why... He's not here. Mm-hmm. Is he, like... Is he secretly spying on this place, do you think? Like, is he gonna, gonna do something? Integrity. Is, is the skull still there? The altar with the bones is yeah. absolutely still there. Yes. I'm gonna point to it and be like, is that Bailey? No. What happened? No. Wait, what happened? Wish. What happened to the person? What happened to the person who went out? To... Don't the worry noises. about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but where did they... we, de- we dealt with him. Don't worry. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, guys, it's our first night here. It's a, it's our first night in this place. We can't. And I'm just going to put my finger up to my lips. You don't have like, lips. Yeah. <laughs> you just put a finger where up. Where my lips would where be. You know where lips are. Okay. Yeah. And you I'm going to look up. Sh- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... What the fuck do you guys want to do? <laughs> um, am I? Can I like look above? Yeah. Um, above us, like w- absolutely. There's a uh, kind of balcony that rims the room at the like, uh, like forty five ish feet up. There's no uh ceiling on this building, so you just as you look up, you see the beautiful uh stone ceiling of Wildcliff's campus f- uh, far, far above you. Um. As you peek around, I'll just give it to you. You don't see anyone up on the balcony around. No. Hmm. Are we allowed up there? I should probably ask. 
You 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 would you want to ask someone that? I'm gonna ask Professor Doss. Okay, you can scurry over to Professor Doss. Uh, she seems to be talking with a couple other people, and you hear hushed tones and blah 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 crow blah 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 and then like seem to be like very much gossiping amongst themselves winsler as you walk up she'll turn she'll be like oh excuse me everyone just one moment and she'll turn to you and say why hello winsler how can i help i just i just have a quick question of course um is the general like um society area only within this part of the chapel or are we able to like go up there and stuff um, I mean, you could go up there if you wanted to have some sort of private conversation. However, the, the chapel was purpose built for this society. Uh, mm-hmm. and so we've only really ever used the main floor for our oh. uh, events and such things. I mean, I, I don't even have the key to go up there, I think. Okay. All right. I was just I was just curious because I never saw anybody up there. So no, I was like, are we allowed I think to go sometimes, up there? I think sometimes devouts of specific gods s- go up there just to like clear their heads. I'm not a particularly devout woman myself. I've never I've never really been in here, so I usually oh. like to take a good look around and yeah. you know. I, I would welcome you to go around to the different shrines in that case. Perhaps uh, say a quick prayer, maybe. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Yes. Uh, was that everything? Yeah, that was everything. Thank okay. you. Wonderful. Have a good evening, Winsler. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Apparent. Apparently, like we can go up there, but there's like a there's like we need like a key or something. But we technically, I would be allowed to go up there, and anyone here. So a key. Okay. Um. I can just break the door open. <laughs> that okay. That is, okay. Yeah, while that is an option. I don't think it would look good because Winsler just asked about going upstairs. That's a good point. <laughs> so, plus, okay, because okay, imagine in one of these lovely other people's shoes, a strange noise happens after two new people join the group. One person leaves and comes back with another person, and we all walk away together at the same time to a location that we mm. that we are not really really going to usually go to. Now, if we get in trouble, <laughs> that kind of puts us all into one big thing. So I think if we're doing this, we have to be stealthy about it. That's all I'm saying. Which, I mean, you two are pretty are doing a pretty good job already, I guess. That's, that's what we've been doing all night. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you all chat, I, I'm going to point out some other people who might be around. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mira, there's mm-hmm. a person that you recognize specifically. She's part of the event planning committee. She's a seventh year. Uh, you see uh, Efrosini, mm-hmm. uh, who is the oh. uh, secretary, I think. Secretary, yes, P- correct. That is why she's in charge of arranging everything. Uh, you see the uh, secretary of the event planning committee over uh, off in like one of the corners, similar, very close to like where the Siltrin uh, shrine is, and she seems to be like very um, purposefully and animatedly talking to another like upper year with like very large uh, poofy hair who looks. Mira, immaculately dressed. Uh, you can't hear the subject of the con- conversation, but you do see Ephrosyne over there and people that you possibly recognize and could, I don't know, do something with. Um, mm-hmm. That's just a little factoid I wanted to throw in there. Um, there's also a bunch of other students around. Nonetheless, mm. what would you guys like to be doing? Hmm. Wait, actually, a good idea might be asking people here about Bailey Blue. Because mm. that, number okay. one, and I point and I kind of gestured to Mira, would maybe helps with some rumors because of the fact that like why would he be coming here if he's not part of the society i mean i and guess there's also that people like debating who to bring in too so yeah. we could probably like snoop was, around and see i was actually kind of thinking that like i could use this opportunity to like take polls because i mean these are people who get good grades i mean obviously that doesn't necessarily translate to being like, <laughs> popular and liked but these can still be like influential people who could be like useful to figure out how people are considering voting so if we use that mm. as a segue like hey who are you supporting in the yeah. event planning presidential race and then segue to like hey is bailey ever around here like what have you heard about him and then we can maybe plant some little rumors in people's heads yeah i get hmm. yeah it might work it, idea. Would, it would probably be better to yeah i guess we could do that just be careful okay. not to just i'd say the best don't and i kind of like covered. point to all of us is like don't say mira's name got Whose it name and I'm going to like <laughs> wink again, but you still can't see a wink. It's like a little, little, sparkle, a little sparkle on the gem. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So in that case, are the four of you just going to split completely up to like divide and conquer? 
Well, yes. that's what I was wondering. Is that a good idea? Because what would draw more attention? Just a bunch of individual people going around and asking about Bailey Blue or like mm. a group that's actually going with, in like a segue? It would make sense if I went with you, Winsler, because Winsler golems. is known to like just have golems around. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So in that case, break into three groups, Winsler and Mira as a golem, uh, Integrity as Zelocles the tiefling, and Serenep Cinderman as a new initiate to the... To the Hedrick Society for Excellence. Mm. Who uh, would you guys like to approach? Or do you want to, me to name more people? Or just describe Is there people? like a group of people in a conversation right now? Anything that seems like spirited or, or fun? Mm. Let me look at my notes. Spirited or fun? Spirited or fun? Um, you can have one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> you see a short gnomish man. Uh, who you might recognize from a thousand years ago by the name of e Mr. Yexum Felbin. He is oh, wow. in no. like one of the uh, kind of side aisles, or not side aisles. He's off by a big plate of food. He's very much uh, having a lot of finger food, drinking a lot of wine over there. He seems to be having a deep conversation with um, a that one tiefling who had first approached uh, Integrity when uh, thought that they were Zelo she was Zelocles. Uh, the two of them are having a very in-depth conversation and seem to be in very good spirits. Uh, you also see there's a big cluster of students. One of them is just a human with like short brown hair and like pretty tan skin. Uh, there's a v incredibly alarmingly pale guy with like uh, very terribly cut hair. Uh, mm -hmm. They seem to be talking to a... Uh, another student who's a halfling who is just like very animatedly and like happily telling them stories about stuff uh, like Ooh. an upper year just like telling like some fun anecdotes about life other than that you might see like Delness speaking with uh, a professor that you might intuit is a necromancy professor by the way that they are dressed in completely all black um, but that's a the generalities of it who yeah with with that with that information mm. where does everyone maybe the go? uh the the halfling and uh, other person pair of they they seem probably like they might be good conversational partners and perfect i find that anyone who is very openly social may be more likely to either like know or reveal some dirt okay that makes a lot of sense mm. um so winsler and the golem mira uh you guys make your way over to this group of uh seemingly uh just a bunch of students having a great time talking, drinking some wine. Uh, integrity as Zelocles, where would you like to go? Hmm. Who looks the most influential? Who looks the most influential? Mm. Can you roll insight for me? Uh-oh. Why am I rolling so well? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you always complaining? <laughs> Why are you complaining? <laughs> 21. 21. Uh, the most influential people in this room currently, uh, the tiefling that you'd spoken to already seems to have a lot of weight that he's throwing around professor doss also seems to be like in charge especially since she was like master of ceremonies for this uh and the professor that delness is speaking to as well also seems to be like very they, they all all three of those people seem very composed and like in charge if that makes sense i will go with the th one speaking with delness okay because i've already talked I, uh, Professor Doss never talked to her. Yeah. Um, and the first one, like we already had yeah. some weird stuff. Uh, going you on. have had classes with Professor Doss, so that might be more difficult to keep up the ruse with her in that case. Yeah. So going over to like the Delness and this uh, Dragonborn professor, uh, much much easier for you. In that case, that's what you can do. And Serenep Cinderman, where would you like to scoot to? My thought right now is I. The first thing I the first thing I want to do is see what dirt I can get on Bailey specifically mm -hmm. to pass on to the rest of the group. Of course. So I I think the first person I would have to talk to is someone I already know outside of this, because then hopefully okay. the, hopefully there'll be a better connection of like mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. to then be able to answer those questions. I guess in that case, Absolutely. because Integrity is going to where Delness is. Yes. Where's Ainsley? <laughs> <laughs> Ainsley is drinking wine and chatting to a uh, eighth year, a dwarf named Christina, uh, <gasps> who, you know, so th th he's just trying to like, he's like leaning on this floating silver platter and just like talking to her. She looks absolutely trapped in this conversation. <laughs> I want to go over. Perfect. Okay. So Serenith heads to Christina and Ainsley. Uh, Zelocles heads over <laughs> to Delness and a professor, and Winsler and Miragolem head over to a group of spirited students. 
Uh, my as- name is still Mira, but the I is a one and the A is a four. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. Uh, the two of you walk over uh, and are greeted by this very pale uh, kind of... Uh, stutter or fidgety kind of guy he looks incredibly uncomfortable to just be perceived and exist Mm -hmm. uh standing next to him is like this very uh very heavily makeup girl who has like uh, light brown skin and like uh, shortish brown hair um they are talking to a halfling who is like gesturing wildly and you can you as you walk up it is like uncanny like they're gesturing so wildly people are walking by he 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 doesn't hit a single one of them he doesn't spill a single drop of his drink (laughs) it is like it is beyond crazy that this man has not like created a massive horrible scene of disaster around him just the way he's gesturing and as the two of you walk up he'll say okay and that's and that's how the exam was going and all of a sudden all of a sudden out of nowhere just a glimmer of light started shining on the paper and i was like this must be a sign. This must be a sign that that is the answer. And, and you know, I think it turned out well. I got a hundred percent on that. Not, I, I did not feel super prepared for it. But you, but you, you, you guys have been there when the light of the heavens just starts shining uh, on the papers in front of you and telling you what to do. I, I don't know. And he's like gesturing. You, Mira, he, he, he almost turns his drink like ninety degrees. No water drops out. Nothing. He's perfectly safe. Uh, the two of you Freakish. stroll up, and they will kind of like generally turn towards the two of you. Um, Greetings, Winsler. students. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm I'm Winsler. You, you, I was one of the initiates. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. And this halfling sets the glass down. It's like ninety percent off of the silver tray. It doesn't fall. Oh it God. stays perfectly on. Oh he sticks out a hand, and he'll go. Name is Callowin. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, n- nice to meet you. I'm in my sixth year. I know you guys are. You're a second year, so you know that's uh, obvious. You're in the duel. You guys are the, you're like the one who won the duel, aren't you? Partly, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a team effort obviously, but you're you were on that winning team. That's crazy. I thought we were going to have to go up against you guys, but then crazy thing, lucky thing. I fell asleep in my room all day and I missed every single duel. <laughs> Wow! Isn't that the craziest thing? That's that's, that's pretty. So uncanny. That's pretty crazy. My team, they did fight, and they got really badly hurt. I think one of my friends broke his arm, actually. So oh. it's kind of crazy that I missed <laughs> that, and like I was just perfectly fine. I was just like a bit groggy, you know. Oh, I'm hogging the conversation. I'm so so sorry. Uh, you can, have, and then he'll like gesture for these other two. Uh, the kind of fidgety blonde. Pale as snow, man. Puts out like a sweaty, fidgeting hand and goes, "It's nice to meet you. My name's Cyrus. Uh, I, I'm I'm just one year ahead of you. It's so." Uh, uh, and he like, kind of like rotates his hand around yours, Winsler, looking for the optimal way to shake your hand. And then he'll just retract uh. and go, "It's welcome to this society." Uh, I'm gonna it, quietly wipe the sweat off <laughs> on my robe. A little yeah, bit. just a couple drops fell on you, uh, and then finally the other person here will go. She'll look at you for two seconds, Winsler, um, and fails a wisdom saving throw, and she'll put a hand on her head and kind of go, "Oh shit! Uh, what the fuck? Are, are you okay? Yeah, I. This isn't supposed to be mean, but just looking at you made my head fucking hurt. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm um, Veronica. Nice I to meet it, you. I knew it. I, I have. I literally wrote down uh, Luke. All right. I, I mean, wrote it down. I guess I'm. <laughs> I guess I'm sorry. Um, Do you want to shake her hand? Oh no. No, I'm good. Don't touch, oh, don't touch damn. Your hand. So she just holds out her hand and she goes, "Too fucking good for me." Okay, and puts her and retracts <laughs> her hand. Well, I mean, she literally said, "Oh, I'm getting a migraine from looking at you." I'm not gonna shake her. I'm not gonna shake her. So, <laughs> what did the two of you want to get up to with this group? Um, so I had a I had a question to ask the three of you. Um, have you noticed anybody like sneaking around and during like conversations you might be having with one another? Oh, like, geez. Because I remember I remember I was meeting with Ainsley. He came he came over to give me the invitation and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And I was kind of after that I was like left alone, bewildered a little bit, not sure what to do about it. So I thought, all right, I guess I'll I guess I'll swing by later this evening. But out of the corner of my eye, somewhere behind me, I thought I I thought I saw somebody rush oh. by as if like they might have been spying Sneaking or something around on campus. Oh, 
that's sensational, the, the halfling Calwin says. He goes, I, 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 I've experienced stuff like that where I think like someone's following me. I'm like, oh my God, there's eyes looking at me in the back of my head. Something's trying to kill me. And then I'll just like hide in the closet for like two hours and then it'll be passed perfectly fine. It's great. Um, <laughs> this is a um, useful strategy. <laughs> <laughs> they they ran and they, they dropped like a, a piece of paper yeah. or like a little a little note or something. Oh, that's and I, lucky. I saw I saw the I saw the paper and it I it very clearly had like the name sort of torn out on the side, but I could tell it was like miraculous. It was like it was like Ailey Blue. So have you have you like heard of anything from anyone else if this this guy's been like wandering around and like sneaking for some reason? I'm for, the only person I know with that name is Bailey Blue, mm. but. <laughs> okay, let me roll some checks for you. Okay. Uh, also, um, it, yes. is it, so I was not there. Mira uh-huh. was not present in the conversation where um, Mr. Wiggles and Big Stinky, you all mentioned uh, the name Veronica Sonia Elrum. Do you think this would be like uh, information that we've all communicated to oh, each other? Oh, absolutely, or? I believe that's Okay, excellent, yeah. excellent. Okay. Because uh, headache, Veronica, I think yes. I'm like, Mira yeah. is putting the pieces together 100%. easy. Uh, the kind of like fidgety uh, guy here with the hair, he kind of like clears his throat and he goes, <laughs> and like coughs up oh. like a piece of like phlegm and then he grabs a napkin and is like dealing with that. Completely takes him out of the conversation. Uh, Veronica squints at you and goes, so you're saying Bailey Blue was following you around? Why the fuck would he do that? I, I don't know. I don't What's really so interact with like, him. I don't oh, really interact you, with him that much. So too good for him too? I, I, I don't know. That's why I was kind of asking everybody if they might have seen anything like that. The halfling snaps his fingers and goes, you know, side note, it got a crit, so obviously I'm going to give it to this guy. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, speaking of Bailey Blue, he's been really overbearing lately. Have you noticed? Like, just the past uh, couple seasons. Like, last year was, like, a rough one for him. Like, I'm not even in his same year, and I was like, oh, my God, this guy, get a life. You know? (laughs) I mean, yeah, I guess so. Like, overbearing, like... How is he going doing this year? Like, oh, this year so far? I mean, it's been two days into the semester, so who's to say? But last year, I know for a fact, he would, like, walk into, like, classes in the divination room and just stare at everyone. And, like, just real freaky stuff. And he'd be like, I'm just here on event planning stuff and, like, scurry out like a fucking little rat. And so, like, I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but it's wild Mm. and suspicious to me, a normal student (laughs) on this campus. On the topic of event planning, I have been asked by Headmaster Crow to take polls. Who do you all plan to vote for in the upcoming event planning election, Bailey Blue or the others? (laughs) <laughs> I'm like I'm like sta- I'm like staring at Golem Mira, just kind of like make a deception check for me, please. With okay, just straight, just straight. Okay, you're okay. Such a I wish I wish to chime in and be like, this Golem kind of wandered in and has been following me around. I'm sorry, I don't really know what it's saying. I don't know. I don't know. That's big Golem. <laughs> oh no. Fuck me. Oh no, no, come on, Mira. Okay, you um, so the. T- <laughs> the total's 11. No! Because I rolled a 2. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Get a new fucking d20, dude! Jesus. I've been rolling multiple! They're all fucking doing this shit! Everyone just wants Mira to fail this arc. Oh my um, god. Calwin, the halfling, goes, I mean, I, I don't know anyone else who's running, so pro- I, there's an election? I... Okay, so if there's an election, I'm absolutely going to go f- vote for Bailey. Or if just a beam of light shoots onto the paper with someone else, I'll probably vote for them because, you know, it feels right. And then the other two kind of go like, the, the this guy, Cyrus, will go, I mean, Bailey did a pretty good job last year, right? He was in charge last year, so why why wouldn't we just vote for him again? Uh, well, you, you did say he was kind of weird. And like the... the- <laughs> <laughs> the mask is fucking <laughs> slipping, Luke. Oh, God. Um, Veronica squints heavily at you and goes, well, who else is running then? Uh, Syndra Sunfire and Mira Marchand. Oh, I'd vote uh, for Syndra. She's my roommate. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. I know Syndra. She's cool. Yeah, I'd vote for Syndra in a heartbeat. And she looks at Cyrus and goes, 
are you still going to fucking vote for Bailey Blue over Syndra, who we have classes with? And he goes, he like Aww. retreats into his neck and goes, Ooh. bullying is not permitted. Yeah, I'd probably vote for Syndra in that case. Then. Uh, what issues I am supposed to ask are the most important to you on this election? What is the oh deciding issue <laughs> that would you get you to vote for check, someone? Please. I could absolutely make another deception oh, check. Please. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a substantially better deception check because um, that is a non-natural 20. That's an 11. Oh, thank guys. God. Somehow I got more convincing. This would have gotten <laughs> so bad. The, the act breaks down and they're like, oh, the golem's acting like they have a real personality again. Callan will say that. He's like, Oh, you're like one of them golems, like the old golems that have like personalities and stuff. I wish you had a head that I could look at, though. It's kind of freaky to talk to a headless golem. I know how you feel. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Cyrus, the, the the bad haircut guy, will go, um, well, if you ask me, I think a really important issue is just generally like making class schedules more readily available before the actual semesters start. Like class choices, they give us a list and have a general like, this is who the professor is with. But then it's like the first two weeks of the semester all the time are just about uh, trying to piece together my life again. And just like, I feel like I'm falling apart at the seams, you know? That's why I memorize my schedule as soon as oh, I see it for the first see? time. That's why they asked you to join, you know, you're smart. <laughs> There's a guy also in the society. <laughs> so. Generally, that's how that conversation seems right. to be going. They give you some feedback, Mira. Um, Great. Just for crows' analytic purposes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got it written. While Delnis is speaking with one of her professors, a oh, copper dragonborn who stands at about five foot three. They are very thin and wispy looking, and they have big like ridges that look like bone on the side of their face. Integrity, Adelberry or should I say, Zelicles, you walk up to the two of these. They will both, these people, they will both turn and look at you, and then uh, Delnus will wait for professor, the professor to speak, and the professor will go, Hello, Zelicles. How can we help you? How have you been? Let me think of the last time we'd spoken. <laughs> then they, the professor, she like puts her hand on her chin and goes, I think the last time we spoke was when you took introductory necromancy. Oh but my. It's been a long time since then. Oh, it has, it has. A lot of things has changed. Lots of things have in changed. Me. I, <laughs> in you? Things and have changed school. in you. And the, oh, well, yes. I've grown. I've grown you've as a grown, person. Of course, I've grown you've graduated. As a, uh, Such a wonderful candidate. <laughs> I'm afraid I apologize for your uh, rejection at being a fifth year. Uh, I don't know if you've heard the news. But the necromancers, the rest of the necromancers in the department were fired over a scandal at the end of the year last year. And I was uh, promoted to uh, department head. Oh. So That's quite it's, I'm a bit drawn thin at the moment, however, as I wasn't given a very big chance to hire any other uh, necromancy professors. I've been teaching everything myself. Uh, we had to shrunk the department slightly this year. Literally. Oh my, that must be a very tedious for you. Uh, yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, the, the, the advantage of it is, though, more lab space for my own research. And Delnus will <laughs> kind of nod. She looks a bit like... I, Integrity, you can very clearly see that she has some feelings on uh, this, but she doesn't <laughs> reveal them and says, yeah, I mean, it's been kind of um, weird because normally I, I take like probably four or five necromancy classes in a semester, but this year I, I, I only have the ability for the, the one of them. So it's been interesting expanding horizons. It wasn't really what I expected in my fourth year, but you know, th these are mm -hmm. the cards, right? Um, well, wouldn't you say though that, uh, is the uh, inability to hire new people just because of lack of, of people available or just resources? Are you not getting enough funding or... Uh, oh, no. Uh, funding is an ample supply. I, if I'm to be honest with you, Zelicles, I don't have a particular mm, keenness to share my research uh, supplies. Uh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to fund the projects that I have a discreet interest in. Uh, I don't have to bend to uh, what Greybeard or Alaro wanted to do with the department resources. They're all mine to control. And of course, the independent researchers of the department still get their fair share, but it is 
at for the very least, I will take the uh, penalty of having to teach all the classes and look after all the students for the reward of the research grants. That is, a uh, that is quite good. Um, so this society that uh, <laughs> we live in, uh, <laughs> now, now, with, uh, now with, uh, you know, with, the new headmaster. I'm glad to know that there hasn't been uh, any bad effects on on your department. No, only good things. Only great benefits from uh, Headmaster Crow taking charge. Has there been, like, any uh, particular interest from him, or is it sort of just letting you do your own thing? After the predicament at the end of last year, you should know, some students were killed and revived by a member of the faculty, which uh, <gasps> I'm uncertain if you know the, the, the ramifications of just such an act, but oh, wow. the order Absolutely. took grand action against uh, Alaro and, of course, the uh, Greybeard, the department head, who allowed it to happen under his watch. So for me, the benefit has been immaculate. Uh, and of course, Headmaster Crow took great interest to ensure that someone who had upstanding moral character was in charge of the department, which I'm right here. So there's no problem with the new leadership? Absolutely not. I would never dare say that. Delness oh. nods her head and remains quiet on that point. Well, thank you so much for that. Uh, you know, we have elections soon, as oh. you may know. Elections? For what? For, uh... The the students are going to go through elections really <sighs> soon, and uh, this is my God. first year not being a student. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was just like wondering uh, what what our roles are as non students in this uh, in this endeavor. Hey, you must be a bit more clear, Zelikles. I you I don't know if you've had too much wine already this evening. An election just for the students. What the hell does that mean? Um, <laughs> the event planning committee, as you may know. D- have you heard of them? Mm, yes, I'm familiar. So, They're the ones who planned Autumn's End, after all. Ah, uh, yes, yes. But there has been, like, some issues, and there seems hmm. to be some, uh, some people trying to usurp power from the, from the former president. Mm. Is and he still, is, now it, is the former president, elections. is the former president still a student? They are a student, yes, but... I can only speak for myself and say that I enjoyed last year's Autumn's End and the past few years' is Autumn's End, which is the most I'll interact with the, the, a student club. So I would vote to keep the president as is. Uh, it seems you have not heard of all the... Uh, oh my god. All the things going on behind there. There were, like, issues with the, uh, with the vendors. Some vendors... We're like really getting mad at the school for for such a disorganized staffing, and also there was there was um accidents happening because they were just not doing such a good job. So uh, I don't know about you, but I just want to make this school much much safer than it is. Make a persuasion check. Oh dear. I want Donuts to catch on, please. Oh, she will <laughs> probably. The second you start talking about elections, I was like, excuse me. Twenty two. 22. Damn. Uh, Professor Crystal Tooth will close her mouth, look up at the sky for a bit, the pink orbs of light floating around this room, and then she'll look back at you and go, I uh, wasn't under the impression that there were so many problems with last year's Autumn's End Festival. If that's the case, maybe I'll have to re-examine things. Well, it was wonderful. Wonderful talking to you. Uh, <laughs> Delmas looks at you and will say, Yes, Zelicles, it was really nice talking with you as well. I oh, never knew yeah, you, you cared so much about event planning stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I just want to do my part as a non-student. As a, as a graduate of this amazing school, it has, it has given me so much, and I just want to give back. Don't you want to give back, Delnis Raytheran? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. Terrifying. Can you make a deception check for me? Oh. Or else Dallas will see through your ruse. Uh-oh. Okay. That is a 15. <laughs> a 15? Oh. Yeah. I care a lot about giving back to our school. Do you mind if I walk with you for a bit? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I have lots of plans. I just I just want your advice for, like, graduate stuff. Oh, I have a lot of that. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, and okay. she grabs you by the arm, and you can walk away from <laughs> Crystal Tooth, who goes like, <laughs> and, like, turns back to some other <laughs> stuff. 
Uh, she's very Imagine lizardy. she thinks this is Mira. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> she grabs you by the arm and will say, why are you here trying to sell people on voting for you in the election? <laughs> Great call, Sarah. Oh. <laughs> what do you speak of? Don't, please don't lie to me. Um, okay. Like it's, I saw through in like se- seven seconds. Uh, you haven't taken a necromancy class in years. I was in your intro necromancy class. Uh, and so just coming over and chatting with Professor Crystal Tooth for no reason, asking weird questions, trying to put Bailey Blue under the rug. Listen, I, listen, I know that what you're doing is, my question is, and she'll just stop and be like, why did you come here? I told you, like, this was a private oh, no. thing. I already told you this no. was like a, a, a like, oh, don't tell no. anyone thing. Don't you remember when we were in, in Dumati's place? And I said, please don't, <laughs> like, why, why'd you come here? Do you think I'm Mira? Oh. <laughs> oh. You see her face drop completely, and she will go, uh, yes, I did. I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. Uh, <laughs> and she will walk away very quickly from you. Um, she seems oh, to be, that's going to be something she'll sleep on for uh, a while. She seems to be uh, making to leave the uh, venue completely. Uh, running oh, from this will haunt her like more. every night when she tries to <laughs> it sleep will. for years. Like the fact that it reached the a most point, embarrassing shit. The fact that yeah, it reached a point yeah. where she just automatically the second like something is being weird, she automatically assumes now it's Mira. This show is the bad lack of, things. The lack, lack of, of trust. Mm, yeah. it's such a lot. Uh, so integrity, you are left alone uh, as Delnus Raithrin marches quickly away from you as fast as she possibly can while still remaining polite. Holy shit. And finally, Sarah Neff Cinderman, if I recall, you were going to go over to Christina and Ainsley Woodley. Yeah. Uh, as you stroll over, uh, Christina, with a nonplussed kind of expression on her face, looks over to you. And Ainsley continues and goes, so, you know, the way that, like, the two extracts kind of w- work together is really just, a, 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 like, oh, I'm geez. super um, keen on I'm... trying to... <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. I'm just gonna like make my way over, and I'm I'm gonna try as my best like pretend like I didn't hear the the conversation. I'm absolutely. I'm just gonna be like, oh, Christina, I I don't know if you remember me. Um, I'm I'm Sarah Nymph. We fought in the duels last year. How could I possibly forget? Hi. Hmm. Yeah, I got crushed by hand. It was my one chance to win the duels for once. Joan Evelyn Kingsley was no longer a problem. And we lost to first years. How could I forget? I mean, you I took me out pretty still... well in the in the end as well. I remember waking up in the not infirmary. well enough, I guess. Not well enough. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, the... sorry, to be so hostile. Welcome to the society. No, yeah, no, it's nothing, nothing bad there. Like, thank you for the welcome. It's a lovely area to you know have meetings and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Spectacular! It's pretty amazing. Sarah, enough, she's glaring at you. She's not <laughs> blinking. Her eyes are not moving. She's glaring at you. Ainsley is just kind of leaning on a plate, hovering in air, and he's just looking back and forth between the two of you, like shrinking to himself a little bit. And he'll go, "Uh, so Sarah, enough. Um, what? How's your year going? How's everything going with you?" Well, you know, uh, beginning of the year, I've had a couple of very interesting classes. I ha- I'm taking a class where you take. Like, where you, like, sleep. Oh. It's kind of cool. Yeah. They have, like, a nice room with, like, you, like, kind of, like, sit on the floor. It's, like, it's an interesting concept. I didn't expect classes to be like that. Because, like... Oh, they, like, get, f- they get real weird the further up you go. <laughs> like, I'm taking a, I'm taking an alchemy class. That's a high-level alchemy class. And he, like, scratches his nose a little bit. And he, like, <laughs> looks over at Christina to see if she reacts to him saying it's a high-level alchemy class. And you go... And, and the g- entire gist of it is just... Uh, if I, if I had to put it in layman's terms for everyone to understand, it's just you put stuff together and we're analyzing the results and a lot of it's kind of real. It's so fascinating. It's a great class. I, I could take you guys by the lab sometime and show you what's uh, the, the, the stuff, the co- concoctions, reactions, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, some of them have like really cool effects. Uh, there's one that, uh, oh, I need to think, I need to think, I need to um, think. While uh, he's like, like scrambling to think. Yeah. 
is he trying really hard to flirt with he's, Christina? He's, yes, like a he, thousand percent. Like, yes, he's <laughs> trying and bombing out of his mind to flirt with this well, dwarven girl. <laughs> While he's doing that, I'm gonna look. I'm like, wow, that sounds really cool. And then I'm gonna look over him. Like, I bet you have like some interesting classes too. Like, I know my first year, we just like sat in like rooms, like put the desks and like everything, like the the board at the front. But yeah, like I'm. Yeah, I bet other classes are really cool too. Yeah. My major focus is spellcraft and how I might improve it so that I might win again at this year or so that I can prove it and get a job here at Wildcliff next year. And I really wanted to showcase my arcane proficiencies in the duel last year and I botched it, quite frankly. No, you were amazing out there. Like like I said before, like I don't know if you saw our other fights in there. I don't want I don't no. mean to toot my own horn, but like I feel like we did really well in the other parts. And you like yeah. you like took me out, yeah. like that was amazing. That was great, like make a persuasion check, Serenup, to move this woman's uh, <laughs> opinion of you at in any way towards the positive. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> persuasion. Oh, one of my best ones too. Perfect. Uh, that is a natural cool. twenty plus eight, so twenty eight. Y'all are, are so for social butterflies. Damn uh, right. She'll look at you. And blink, and then look at Ainsley, who's just like kind of going like, ah, oh, what, what was the thing? Um, um, and he's like getting out uh, in his own head, and she'll <laughs> look at you and go, "I'm sorry for being so hostile towards you. It's just that he's been chatting my ear off for the past five minutes, and I'm a bit frustrated about it. I'd rather <gasps> he leave." And she looks at him, and he's, he like <laughs> oh. gulps, and he stands up and goes, "Sorry, must have uh, misread the room. I'll be out of your hair." <laughs> and he backs up and goes to stand by another different group of folks. Um, yeah, he takes an L on this one. She'll look to you. Christina, the dwarf, uh, will look to you and say, now, is there a reason that you really wanted to come speak to me? Um, well, yeah, just because um, like, I, I kind of figured you would know a lot of people here and everything. Um, mm. I was kind of surprised that... Bailey wasn't here. She racks her brains. You are correct. She knows quite a few people, Sarah. Yeah. She goes, yeah, you're right. Eight, I, I spent eight years here. I know a lot of students on this campus. I remember a lot of names. Bailey Blue, he's the fourth year, right? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's um, yeah, just because, um. <sighs> um. Yeah, I remember him. He is, what was the voting on him? Uh, we wanted uh, that schmuck, Ainsley. And uh, Delnus Raytham, just because they were so academically gifted, mm -hmm. and they had more social connections than Mr. Blue at the time, if I recall. Okay. G it's the same reason a lot of people voted for you to join us, at the prospect of you returning to polite society and getting more contacts for people here in our society. Oh. Sorry if that was rude. No, it's... It, it's something you kind of get used to. Mm, I'm glad. But I don't have a particularly strong opinion of the guy. He's... Very average in every way that I would ever think of him. Why? Well, it's just because earlier today when I was in dining hall, I, I, I'm i not mm. sure if it was just me. I, I think I might have been, I don't know, hearing something. Just because I had, you know, talked to Delness at one point about mm. the meeting. But, like, he... It, it kind of looked like... And even, like, when we were when we were coming over here later in the day, it, it I just kept seeing him a lot. Like on the so, walk, and hmm. I just didn't know. Do you know think if... that he? Do you think that someone might have loose lips? Let him know. Well, like I've I've seen him in a lot of weird places, especially last year as well. Like when we were getting ready for like the Autumn's End festival, like I saw him like mm -hmm. just in random classrooms sometimes. But and I thought, Strange. I don't know. It just felt weird. Like I I don't know. Like he was. I kind of figured. Because I saw him enough times on the travel here he's that he was... definitely not... He's definitely... I can guarantee you this beyond a shadow of a doubt. He is not part of uh, the Hedrick Society of Excellence. He is not an excellent himself. But if he's around or afoot, that is a mighty concern. Like, does he... I mean, I'm guessing, like... I don't know if he was... He has no... He has no... Uh, he has no interaction with the planning of these uh, meetings. No. To be to cut that I one off at the chase, no. Okay. Uh, he, he, he's completely disconnected from us if so i don't know if you know the original conception of this uh society but uh from what i've read in the archives 
it seems that the founders produced this society as a way to separate the common students from the ex excellent and highly excelled students that they wanted to more closely collaborate with uh, and, and remove them from like social experiments that they were doing on the school when it got founded. Oh, okay. So uh, to be clear, Ainsley, or not Ainsley, that fucking <laughs> idiot, <laughs> Bailey is not a part of this society. I, at this point in my life, do regret voting for Ainsley over Bailey, uh, but I'm sure there could have been some other person. I think there's a gray beard in the fourth year that, that would have been an excellent candidate as well. But I mean, it was ages ago, so we can't really take it back now. I mean, I can kind of understand why you would vote not for Bailey, just because, like, you know, everything that happened. Like, I'm surprised we were able to get through all the duels, especially with all, like, the stuff that was happening, like, in the merchant area like did you hear about what like, was going on with the merchant area well okay no. so i don't i was laser focused on the duels to be quite frankly with frank with you sarah lasers like well like i mean i i stopped by the infirmary a couple of times and like apparently someone got bitten and like they were biting other people and like everyone was getting like sick <laughs> oh and, yeah i like, forgot about the zombie and like that, and that was the whole thing and i heard like there was a there was a stall that exploded at one point like it was <laughs> a mess of coordination like i don't know what happened there but like it wasn't really properly taken care of and like when bailey's on top of like that. that yeah when you put it like that what an imbecile i know it was like what I, like how did he become head of the planning committee with like that kind of stuff happening like well, i assume no one else with a backbone was on in the club i mean i will say um there are some new people that have joined like i heard they're they're having an election this year because of like the fact that other people want to take over the position of president because Bailey hasn't do, been doing do, a good job. Do a lot of people know about Bailey causing a bunch of uh, shit during the festival? Because I definitely hadn't heard of it uh, through friends of friends or anything like that. I mean, I was in the merchant area a lot more during that time uh -huh. as well. Just like looking at all the cool stuff because I wanted yeah, to see what it was like. Yeah, sure. So yeah. like I saw a lot more Sarah, of the when mess When you say that, happening. she seems to like look a bit annoyed. When you say like, I wasn't even focusing on winning the duels. She looks annoyed, but she doesn't oh. raise the point Humble or anything. Brag. Uh, she goes, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you spent a lot of time. Uh, I'm sure there was a lot of nice stalls. Um, well, I mean like it was like the one time that I could finally like, get out of my training stuff because like sure, that was all sure, the time. Sure. And then I finally, you know, the stuff is happening. I figured might as Are well. You trying like, to I might ask. Might huh? I ask? Yeah. Are you trying to influence my opinions a particular way or another? No, honestly, I wanted to get opinions of other people. I mean, if you were, were trying to do that, that would be well within the realm of this society. It's for influencing folks around you and rubbing shoulders and elbows with the high and mighty in our magical society. And I would respect you a lot more if you just told me the earnest truth of what you're trying to do instead of talking around bushes. <laughs> okay. She kind of like rubs her hand. Like she sets down like her little like flute that she was drinking yeah, from, like nursing from the night. Like, I'm just, genuinely, I'm just really worried about Bailey being president this year. Because mm -hmm. I don't want what happened last year to happen again. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I just want to, like... Do you have a candidate in mind? Okay, well, I might be a little bit biased. But mm -hmm. I think it's because I've been hearing a lot of our campaign ideas so far. But my friend Mira, who, mm -hmm. like, she helped deal with, like, the panel of the angry merchants last year as well. And she Make did... A persuasion check for great. me again. Oh, yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like... But like, uh, you know, she's really excited. She was talking to me about her ideas. I think she would do really well. That is an unnatural 20. Okay. Uh, she picks up your flute that you just set down and will hand it to you and will pick up her own and go to cheers you about it. And she'll say, consider my mind influenced and cheers. Uh, and you can both well, well, drink well. some wonderful, wonderful uh, wine. Uh, and the rest of you can linger about this room. Uh, would you like to reconjoin as a group once more now that you've seeded doubt and investigated Bailey a bit? Yeah, I would think I would maybe okay. like make an excuse of like, oh, maybe I want to get some air outside and I'll like go over to like, I'll make sure like Winsler's close to other people and be like, hey, like let's go outside, let's go outside yeah, for a bit. Yeah. Like get some fresh air. Like, I don't know about Absolutely. you, but like I've been drinking a little yeah. bit too much wine. Ha ha ha. So I, I must ask the question like, uh, because it, it it's alcohol by all means. So, uh, Mira, I presume as a golem, you're not. I can't flutes. drink anything. Yeah. No, uh, I, the food looks so good, but I have to. <laughs> I'm staying. Uh, Zelicles and Winsler Wallaby, uh, are you guys blending in, partaking of the food and drink? I've been stuffing my face with deviled eggs and just drinking water. Okay, <laughs> perfect. 
uh, and Zelicles? Um, I'm trying to eat the same way that the other people are eating. So both eating Wonderful. and drinking. Awesome. Uh, nonetheless, yeah. uh, you guys can mingle and be very casual about it for some time, like half an hour, an hour maybe, um, before uh, you all kind of like make eye contact with one another and get like the general, oh, okay, this has been enough time. We can reconvene and discuss. You guys can all uh, very sensibly head towards like the entryway and leave this place all together if you would like. Hmm. I think that might be maybe. I think that might be better because I don't know if there's much else to really gain from this. I yeah. will probably before we even leave, like take everything off and like yes. hide yeah, like say like goodbye to everybody and be like, yeah, like yeah. this was really yes. fun. Like thank you again so much for the welcome. Um, it's getting pretty I've got late. Studying to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have classes. You guys early make tomorrow. your excuses and say your goodbyes to your fellow uh, excellence, uh, and then you can leave as well and i presume integrity as zelicles you also <laughs> make appearances for the man um and you can scoot out of here let him uh, do we untie him uh... yeah that was gonna be my next question <laughs> as you walk through the entryway the door is right there uh it doesn't seem to have been perturbed since you and mira broke into this place do you want to go and set him free I feel like Why are you guys pausing to... in the hallway like this? What yeah, happened? you see them pause right next um, to this guys? door. Um, uh, there is a guy tied up in the other room. So... <laughs> I think... Sorry. Okay. Uh, we'll just hang over over there for a bit. Okay. I, actually need to get, I actually need to get some fresh air, guys. I'll be one moment. Okay. So the two, Winsler and Serenup, you take your ceremonial, not sacrificial, <laughs> ceremonial oh, robe off. Sacrificial. No, no, that, that's, that's next friend. meeting. That's next meeting. <laughs> uh, off, and you can exit to get some fresh air. Uh, the haziness of the chapel immediately becomes obvious to you the moment you get some fresh spring air into your lungs as you step outside. Integrity and Mira, you can walk over to this door and very discreetly open it. You see no person standing there or sitting there on the step that you left, but you do see the stairs down into the basement, and there's a couple of, like, tied, untied pieces of rope leading down the stairs. Uh-oh. Oh, Can shit. You also do make you think he got away? a perception check? Yes. <sighs> the rats got oh. him. Uh, 17 <gasps> plus 4, <Fuck>. 21. <laughs> you see... In integrity, what did you get? I got a... 24. Five? Holy fuck. Oh my nice. god. What? You look like you roll. rolled a two. In, in, no, Carla, roll below seven, a 20 challenge. Um, I got <laughs> 17 plus eight. The two of you see the cut ropes. 25. And you also see a very, very light trickle of blood leading down the stairs. Like, as if someone bled and got carted down. It's very obvious to you. <gasps> oh, uh -oh. Shit. oh shit. Um, that seems problematic and that may maybe has something to do with Bailey. Should should we get our friends and um maybe look, look into that? Go... Go, go grab him, uh, yeah. and, 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 and I'll just, like... Are you going to go down the stairs in advance, Integrity, just to scout out what's going on? You are stealthy, so you could make this. I'm going to scout it. Okay, make a stealth check for me as Mira, you as a golem, walk come outside back, and come go... Come back, come back, come uh, back. Yeah, you just... Blood just situation. Blood, what? Uh, the, just come. 22. 22. All right, I guess Integrity, we go in. You sneak uh -huh, down the okay. stairs. You find yourself in a cramped storage room. There's bookshelves filled with uh, what look like books of worship for Siltrin. There's a thousand different ones that to be taken out. Uh, there's big boulders down here, uh, stuff to be replaced upstairs in the shrines, of course. Big bolts of cloth of color uh, for praise of Isithil. Uh, the blood trail does continue uh, towards the back of this room uh, behind a shelf. You sneak down. You hear... Nothing really going on down here, but as you do hear your friends coming from behind to run down the stairs, I presume you guys close the door behind you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Everyone except Mira, I need you to make constitution saving throws. Oh, fuck. They poisoned the water supplies. They poisoned the stairs. <laughs> they poisoned the stairs. Um, six. Not bad, not Constitution bad. saving throw. That is a, oh my God, that's a lot. That's that's an unnatural 20. Okay, sounds good. I got an 18. Okay. Uh, Winsler and Integrity, you both feel very woozy. Uh-oh. Uh, Winsler, you feel all of the food you just ate, all the water coming up in your throat as if you're going to throw up. Integrity, you just feel incredibly lightheaded. You, your vision goes gray, and both of you collapse to the ground. Uh, oh. And are completely unconscious and incapacitated. They poisoned the water. The wine. 
Not the wine. Damn. Give me one Time to moment. sleep. Give me one. Winsler? <laughs> yeah. You, Winsler falls down right in front of you, staring up. Ooh. And Mira behind you, you can see that, hear this. And then you hear a thud from in front of you as you, see, as you Mira, can rush down the stairs and see Integrity's uh, unconscious body falling to the ground. Uh, dis, um, what was it? What was it? Disguise self fizzles on Integrity and you see her actual form lying there. Oh my gosh. Winsler? Fuck. You can why what happened? You shake him a little bit. Uh, he seems to be very unconscious. Uh, in Ooh, Mira, okay. you can run over to Integrity and do the same thing. Both of them seem unconscious, but they are breathing, albeit very slowly. Integrity, Winsler, in your minds, you both hear. The moment you fall to the ground, you can still you still have this minor perception of the world outside of you. You're not completely unconscious, Winsler. You can feel yourself being shaked, but but there's nothing. There's like almost as if you are paralyzed like in sleep paralysis that kind of feeling mm. like your, your body feels completely numb it feels like there's a brick in your throat integrity exactly the same thing your your t- fingers are tingling like every single piece of your body feels as though it is fading away from you as your vision darkens and darkens and darkens you can just barely make out your friend's face in front of you and both of you in your heads will hear hello and welcome to the network mm. and you feel like a little pin stuck into your brain um oh no as that voice echoes in your head no but i like my brain <laughs> uh, and that's where we'll end this episode oh my i gosh. like it where it is uh, carla could you give us an outro hello and welcome to the <laughs> network hope you and all, all enjoyed your travel with us please leave a rating and a review on our itunes or wherever you listen to the podcast it truly means a lot um it helps us know what's uh, if you like us or not, yeah. and you can it's also great. put suggestions if you want <laughs> in there. Um, sure. We also have a Twitter and Instagram at yes. Trials and Trebs. Please give that a follow mm-hmm. because you can get updates on what the things are happening in the podcast, yeah. such as teasers, teasers and art. really cool art. Yeah. Maybe bonus episodes. Who knows? <laughs> um, we also have a... Discord. Discord, and you should join that because we're all cool. There's like a bunch of cool people there, and yeah. you can talk about the podcast. Super duper. You fun. can find the link to that in, in the description. description down below. And we also have a Patreon. We do. We do. patreoncom trials and trebs. Yes, um, where you can um, donate money so that um, and it's not just donating money. You can potentially get perks um such as creating a uh patron npc yes uh we like have a shit ton of many things. of which were <laughs> introduced emily thank you for veronica we finally got her zem i'm so sorry that zelicles was taken out and is now uh in a, a missing person probably dead um, fucking eland <laughs> abby prescott thank you for Callowin greenleaf uh, I'm glad that he finally showed up. He was our first patron NPC that anyone ever Holy submitted. Holy shit. Um, a long ass time. Antares for Cyrus Cromwell. Um, thank you guys so much for making Patreon NPCs. I'm glad that they showed up. And thank merch. You. And merch. We also have merch. Trevmerch.com. Yeah, Trevmerch.com. Check it out. There's stickers and a t shirt. Um, Do it right now. Thank you, everyone, <laughs> for tuning in. I hope you tune into the network next week on Trials and Trebuchets. Uh, until then, bye-bye. bye bye. 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 Sweet dreams. Welcome to the network. <laughs>